refreshing and ravishing voice The lively heart of shade and light Powered by passion and ability Red Carpet TV, you are the best, oh to be on the program tonight of course the joy of seeing a new month and you know what april means to us at red carpet it's our best month your treasured event program is eight hooray as a way of celebrating ourselves we've put together something special on our journey so far enjoy this <laughs> We've got the passion, determination To capture pictures of great moments For your maximum pleasure Red Carpet TV Showcase of my stones Red Carpet TV Showcase of my stones Taking breathtaking clips and ultimate thrills Incorporating sights and sounds and On the 1st of April 2009, there was an actualization of a dream, an imagination come to life, a whole new world of creativity and professionalism, a dream of becoming the first brand that gives the best film of well packed celebrity events on television, utilizing delightful visuals, imaginative graphics and illuminating scripts. Memorable day for Mr. Olu Sheung Abiodun Ajayi as he celebrated his 40th birthday on the 5th anniversary of his weight making drinks management company. <laughs> the swinging sight of Aborigines in artistic paraphernalia, the punctuating poetry of the women folks and the entertaining displays of the maidens put a distinct stamp of Kalabari culture on the traditional wedding of Bolawo Oju and Goma Briggs on Saturday, August 20, 2011, at the Briggs residence, Joseph Eke Street, Ungugwe Woji Estate, Port Court, River State. <laughs> Daring and drastic dance steps of deft ladies and dashing deals drew gracious pictures of life and love as the gregarious lyrics of the gifted singer Yinka Ayefale unleashed a large dose of frolicking and merrymaking in the all. That was the dream of a visionary leader and a pro stylist Yemi Olowolabi which gave birth to Red Carpet TV, your favorite event program on TV. A 
essentially a social diary, Red Carpet TV is a marvelous file of glamorous events incorporating sights and sounds of special celebrations. <laughs> is a stylish presentation of the glitz and glamour concomitant with high profile events highlighting great celebrities and celebrating gorgeous spectacles all in a uniquely refreshing and fascinating style <laughs> Red Carpet has at every point fulfilled its mission statement to be everywhere there is grand celebration using skills and tools to capture motion pictures of great moments for the utmost delight of our clients and the maximum pleasure of the public. Eight years down the line Red Carpet flourishes like a tree planted by the riverside and it's consistently bringing to your screen several awesome moments that becloud the sight and sound of the society. With our new innovations discharged by skillful professionals coupled with a state-of-the-art facilities. Everywhere. At Red Carpet TV we have got the passion and extraordinary determination to capture pictures of epic moments and creatively present breathtaking clips for the consummate gladness of the public. Here is wishing us a happy birthday with a renewed determination from us that our best is yet to mm -hmm. come. I want to pay Oreda to Shumoshi. I want to pay Oreda to Shumoshi. I Happy birth anniversary to us at Red Carpet TV. Hooray! Still to come, a special feature story on the couple and their accomplices, the bridal party. And finally tonight, we are joining thousands of Nigerians in celebrating a political giant and a leader of leaders, the Jagaban of Bogu, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, as he clocked 65. My name is Olufumi. Do you enjoy this beautiful? The spring of happiness at wedding ceremonies bounces with celebration as kennel of true love bats far with a blast of boundless shindig. This visible stream of festivities and stem of gaieties all give a meaningful and resounding definition of love and the new chapter that is opened between the parties involved. <laughs> From the elated couples to the ecstatic parents, from the neck twisting grandeur to the undeniable radiance of glory that embellishes the wedding venue, love is the only vision that is seen and the only language that is understood at this material point in time. Yeah. 
while everyone rolls along with the rhythm of love. The lovebirds and their pots stand tall like peacocks and flap their colorful feathers, practical demonstration of the real reason for the D-Day. Either with their smashing arrivals and polished automobiles into the premises or the sensational entry into the hall that usually pulls a standing ovation from their fans, this special day has always been everything to reckon with by all. And while the couples sure bask in the glory of their day, their bridal parties on the other hand revel with fervor as they spread their appendages and compliments the nuptial bash in a stimulating spectacle. Indeed, a wedding is incomplete without the activities of this enthusiastic and spirited folks. They are vivacious, vibrant and chappy on the dance floor. They are bridal parties who also share the joy of the day with the couples. The bridal party is comprised of the chief bridesmaid, the best man, the flower girls, the groomsmen, the ring bearers, the little brides and the Ashwebi girls. Either at the engagement, church or reception, these cheerful trendsetters are definitely the live wire of nuptial shindigs. This new development in wedding ceremonies has also led to the emergence of the Ashwebi ladies. These are basically friends of the bride who uniformly deck in colorful attire, be it Ankara or race material that complements the appearance of the bride. This is majorly notable at the engagement ceremonies where they gracefully usher the bride into the venue. They are generally stylish, trendy and fashionable with tasteful appearance. On the other hand, bridal parties are more frequent at church weddings and receptions. Here, the ladies appear in silky and sensational wares that make them look angelic, while their male counterparts look swayed in smart suits as they all usher the couple into their wedlock on the festive spectacle.
since the adherents of the bridal train are still in the Spincerhood market, one of the fine moments they look forward to at wedding ceremonies is the tossing of the bouquet by the bride. The winner is usually the happiest amongst them as she beams and glows with excitement which simply indicates that she's the next in line for matrimonial harmony. Whichever way or angle it has been considered, bridal parties are never a pushover at wedding ceremonies as a spark up fire of fun that further fuels passion and excitement of couples on their wedding days. The step of a giant reads an imprint on the sand of time. His presence in the society reinforces the shimmer of hope and the promising future that has been envisaged by members of the public. He is the ray of light that illuminates the end of every tunnel and the leading light that brightens the darkness of a daily life. This is the philosophy that perfectly portrays the standpoint of a national icon, political giant, pioneer of freedom and an avatar of a new age. Senator Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Either by his audacious political odyssey or sagacity of his unparalleled influence, Tinumbu has engraved his name in the hearts of Nigerians as the main issue in the contextual Nigerian politics. He is unarguably the most influential politician in the southwest Nigeria and a worthy political hero, passionately loved by people and gifted with a desire to mingle with the crowd. In one of his messages to his advent followers, Tinumbu positioned that in politics you can't be a spectator and hope to succeed. It is like a football game. In the course of playing, you sustain injuries and have bruises. You can nurse your injuries and continue to play. That is the only way you can win. And in all political ramifications, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu is a winner. From political field to human management, from professional corridor to social life, Tinumbu's trophies lead to the nooks and crannies of Nigeria with a name that reverberates like thunderbolts. This largely accounts for the reasons why Nigerians usually gather on every 29th day of March to celebrate this uncommon gift to the human race with series of intellectual discourse. 
This year was no different with the convergence of the movers and shakers of the Nigerian society at the Okotel and Suite. As a matter of fact, the seat of Nigerian government literally shifted to the Lagos Island with a single nest of purples to celebrate the Jagaban of Bogu and the Ashiwaju of Lagos on his night colloquium that heralded his 65th birthday. It was an impressive assembly of intellectual icons, business muggles, captains of industries, political giants and eminent personalities across the Federation who have all come to identify with a leader of leaders and pathfinder per excellence Ashiwajibola Ahmed Tinumbu from a governor of Lagos State and national leader of the All Progressive Congress. The gathering was proudly hosted by the governor of Lagos, Mr. Akiwumi Ambodi. Perching comfortably beside his lovely wife, Oluremi, Tinumbu relished the wonders of his goodwill that trailed his dedication to a national cause, his stride to give voice to the voiceless and his efforts at creating a better society for all and sundry. All this were eloquently highlighted by a league of notable Nigerians as everyone took turn to talk about the man, Bola Tinumbu. If Ashwa Jubala and Ahmed Tinumbu were coconuts, I dare say, with all simplicity, I will be among the four frontliners that will eat, drink, and sleep B80 24-7. The test of a successful leader is in the number of leaders that he has. In his response, Tinumbu appreciated his guest and gave a brief history of his rough part to stardom. Political economy structures for the benefit of man, or have we reduced man to be subservient to the impersonal political economy? And of man, is there a material and material despite our accomplishment? The decline in all prices to an excellent economic model. As governor of Lagos, from 1999 to 2007, Tinubu practically bettered a new center of excellence that gives a benchmark to the continent of Africa and provided a template that ultimately ushered in a new mega city. And as a politician with track record, Tinubu orchestrated the amalgamation of fragmented political parties to become a national mega party that consequently offstaged a 16-year-old ruling party at the central. Take it or leave it, Ashiwajibola Tinumbu is an unraveled mystery in the contemporary Nigerian politics and Nigerians cannot but celebrate him whenever it matters in his lifetime. From all of us at Red Carpet TV, we say happy 65th birthday to the political genius of our time. Senator Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. Here's wishing Ashiwaju a happy birthday once again. And a big thank you to you all for making it a date with us every Sunday for the past eight years. Hmm. Be rest assured that our best is yet to come as we will continue to bring fascinating visuals to your TV screen. You can expect more surprises from us. To those of you that have been calling us and sending messages, we appreciate you and we truly feel honored. Till next week, like I always say, we'll bring you more juicy package. I remain your host, Olufumi. And of course, the celebration still continues in the house.